While not all instructional design roles require you to know much of the technology, the vast majority of them do. This is because most instructional designers are expected to not only write the instruction, but also develop it into its final format. But you also need to be aware that the tech climate can and does change somewhat frequently. But I assure you that learning these skills will make you valuable to most companies that are seeking instructional designers today. You'll also need a computer that can handle the software and development tasks that I'm about to discuss. First is Articulate Storyline. Articulate Storyline 360 is the most popular rapid e-learning authoring tool on the market. It isn't perfect by a long shot, but you can develop highly custom interactive e-learning in a fraction of the time that it would take you with any other rapid authoring tool, such as Adobe Captivate. Storyline is also quite easy to learn. Think of Storyline as a more powerful version of PowerPoint. It has a similar user interface to PowerPoint, but in Storyline, you can also add layers to each slide, add variables and conditions, to create a dynamic user experience and add triggers to make the experience interactive. Articulate also offers a free 60-day trial for a suite of all their products. This is more than enough time to develop your skill set with the tool and create a few practice projects. In fact, you can learn the basics such as adding photos and text to a slide, adding interactivity with triggers, and using the built-in quiz functionality and interaction types in just a few days. There's a lot to learn about Storyline, but that's all that I have time to talk about right now. The next one is Articulate Rise 360. Articulate Rise is a lightweight web-based authoring tool that you can use to create mobile responsive learning experiences. This tool has limited functionality, but it's extremely easy to use. People often use it to create or infographics, which includes text, visuals, and pre-programmed interactions. I recommend creating a quick demo in this tool during your free trial of Articulate 60, including a portfolio piece created with Rise and talking about it during an interview can only help. Another tech tool is Adobe Illustrator. As an instructional designer, it's not only necessary to master the entire Adobe suite, However, if you're going to develop e-learning using illustrations and vector graphics, then you should know your way around Illustrator. As a side note, you may also want to learn Adobe Photoshop. I haven't had to use it much as an e-learning developer, but if you or your company prefers to work with photorealistic images rather than graphics and illustrations, then Photoshop will be a more valuable tool in your toolkit. There are also alternatives to Adobe products, such as those in Affinity Design Suite. But once you have your way around either Photoshop or Illustrator, it's much easier to learn the other. If you have time, I recommend learning both of them. In fact, if possible, try learning in as many tools in the Adobe Creative Cloud as you can. They will only make you more valuable and learning them will round out your skill set as a creative digital professional. Now the next tech tool you need to know is Camtasia. Camtasia is a great tool for instructional designers to create and edit videos. One of the strongest features is that it's very efficient and easy to use. On top of this, it has many templates, advanced screen recording features, and so much more. Camtasia is great if you need advanced functionality and more control over your screencasts. I recommend downloading the trial, learning your way around the tool, and then waiting to buy it until you actually need it for your daily work. Next is Beyond. Beyond is a rapid video authoring tool that you can use to create animated videos relatively quickly. The tool lets you develop in three different art styles, business, contemporary, and whiteboard. Videos like this are excellent for soft skills training, explainer videos, and more. The tool's great for instructional designers because it's easy to use and much faster to develop than if you were trying to build an animated video from scratch. This makes it viable for e-learning budgets that can't afford completely custom animation. The reason for this is that virtually every mid to large sized company uses a learning management system to host their e-learning content 
and deliver it to their employees. Instructional designers in full-time in-house roles are often expected to manage courses and users with these tools, so learning management system experience is a common requirement for instructional design jobs. This is especially true in higher education, where the learning management system doubles as the content authoring tool. So that covers most of the core tech that you should have a grasp on as an instructional designer. If it seems overwhelming, don't worry. You can likely land a job on a contract with just Storyline and Illustrator under your belt. But you should make a continuous effort to learn the others that I just discussed. As you keep up with the technology, your diverse toolkit will ensure that you stay relevant and valuable to companies and training departments around the world.